XL Plus Dirt is a little espresso setup for Cinema 4D in hot and render to help you quickly and procedurally give life to your materials. We obviously disclaim on liability for any damage caused by violent and unruly use. Uses at your own risk and parents. Enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab and welcome to our brand new update of Pixel Plus Dirt Rig. This rig now works with Octane 3.08, which is their latest update. So that is the biggest thing, it now works with 3.08, but we also added some new features in the displacement channel. So let's go ahead and throw in our Pixel Plus Dirt Rig. Let's throw in our cube into the objects to dirty slot. And let's make a new material and drag that into the clean materials slot. So Pixel Plus Dirt Rig, we still have our five different options. You can add our low coat, you can go and play with the amount, the power, the color details. You can add a sticker. So let's go ahead and add a sticker. Uh, that is a bitmap, so we need to throw a bitmap in there. Let's just search for sticker real quick and throw a sticker into here. Now we have a sticker on there, so we can play with the scale, increase that. We can add sticker dirt, and that looks really nice. And then we have scratch, and this is a great place to add some edge wear and tear. So let's make a scratch material. We'll just drag another one in there. Let's turn on edges and let's kick up the amount and let's kick up the radius. And if we do that, we can see that we're getting some slight uh, wear and tear on the edges of our cube, which is really cool. We can also add in some more things. Um, I'm not actually going to spend too much time on all these other features because they I've already covered them in a previous tutorial. I wanna show you the new features in this update and that is in the displacement channel. So a lot of you are wanting the ability to add a bitmap and we have added that. So before it was just a procedural pattern. Uh, let's go ahead and put a flooring on there and we'll hit render. Um, these are all patterns that are in Cinema 4D, so you can play around with the scaling, the size of them. Um, you can play around with the height. And by default, they have a displacement resolution of 512, which is pretty low, uh, but you can always increase that if you want to, to very high resolution. So this was all available before. We also have displaced dirt in here right now, which you can add a basic noise. You can uh, twirl down the amount, and we can even invert it. Let's go ahead and hit refresh and see what that looks like. So that just adds a little bit of noise breaking up your displacement. So all of these uh, were available in the last version. What we have now is this whole tab called bitmap texture. So if we go ahead and click over to that, let's go ahead and add a bitmap texture into here. So I found a couple kind of black and white grunge maps. We'll just throw one of those into there and we're gonna hit render. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that we also have this notice up here, and we have this enable displacement map live baking checkbox. Now, if you turn this on, any um, changes you make down here are going to auto refresh in your viewport, and that's gonna slow down your scene quite a bit. Um, displacement in Octane in general is just very heavy on your computer. So we also have a checkbox to turn off, and that means you can make some changes down here and then you can manually refresh it. So if you're having problems with performance, leave this unchecked and just manually send this back to Octane after updating things. So now you can see that we have our bitmap texture driving the displacement. It looks really nice. Then you can go back and add on top your low code and your sticker and all your other stuff. And really quickly, you can have a nice grungy cube. So that is the new feature. It is the displacement feature and the ability to add a bitmap texture. And then also this now works in 3.08. I hope that you guys find this useful. As always, thank you for checking the Pixel Lab. Talk to you next time. Ciao.